what's up everybody here were some uh regulation c the last day of ranked so threw together a really quick regulation c team and we're gonna hop right into this i'll throw up probably a few games for you guys we'll see how this goes so opponent has a really weird team a lot of ground types a lot of ground types and stuff that's weak to fighting which i don't actually have i don't have a fighting type on this team which sucks but uh I think Taunt Don Dozo Tatsugiri actually looks really good here. Apart from the Gastrodon, which is a problem. I think I lead Dragonite Chim Pao and then I bring the Don Dozo and the Tatsugiri in the back. I think that's my play here. But I, I entered the wrong Mon. I entered the wrong Mon. I didn't mean to bring the just the Don Dozo. I screwed up. I thought that was the Tatsugiri. That's up the ch it changed because I had to I forgot I had to rearrange the, the mons all around on this team because I had to go change one of the natures. I forgot to change the nature on the iron moth and then it ended up changing the team order. So I got confused. Oh, that's bad. I mean, the Iron Moth is actually really bad here because he has so many ground types and I get walled by everything, so it's actually pretty bad. Oh, he's gonna leave, okay. Or he's just gonna leave. He's just gonna disconnect, that's fine. Little did he know that I screwed up big time. Okay, on to the next match. Alright, hopefully we actually get get into a match now. Uh, I got a free win that last match. I don't know if I'll even include that or not, but if I do, then that's what happened. But uh, my opponent has a really threatening team again. It's a bunch of like branch shit, dead stuff. I think he just threw a team together with some like really good top tier mons and just said YOLO. I think that's what my opponent did. I think what I do here is I think I lead Tatsugiri. I think Tatsugiri and uh. Don Dozo is pretty good because I'm Terry Grass, so like the, the Moongus can't do shit to me. If he wants to spore me, that is. And then, uh. I mean, the Iron Moth ain't bad here, too. I think that I bring the Iron Moth and I bring the Flood Remain as my last two months. I think that's what I'll roll with here. how this goes if I hopefully I can actually get into the match this time without the guy leaving I don't know why he left last game because he would have got a free win because I I screwed up on bringing the, the mons I wanted he would have had an easy match It's actually a really, really solid lead for me. I think what I do here is I just try to get rid of the, the Flutter main right away. Or I can Earthquake. Earthquake's solid here too. I don't know what else he would really bring. What else does he have? He might actually swap into the Gyarados too. Or the Amoongus. I think I get rid of the Ting Lu though. The Ting Lu is more of a threat to this team because of the because of its ability. It cuts the rest of my mons. All my other mons are special attackers, so. See how much this does. I don't think it'll one shot him though. It actually does. I don't know how that one shots him, but it does. Trick Room Flutter Main. Okay. I'm assuming he has Iron Hands in the back then. He has to have Iron Hands. I'm assuming that's what he brought. I don't know why else you'd set up Trick Room. Well, not right here. I protect because he's going to try to fake me out. So I'm going to protect and stall out a, a room of or a turn of trick room.
I think my play here might actually be to Terra Grass. That way he, just, he doesn't hit me with super effective damage. I don't think I'm actually going to kill him either. He might be weakness policy. I'm not sure. I think what I do here is to try to take out the Flutter Man. I think that's my play. I mean, Earthquake will still do solid damage, though. I think if I do Earthquake, it'll still do really solid damage. I need damage on the Iron Hands for the for my own Flutter Man to come in late, later and pick him off, so... I think I Earthquake, I think that'd be a better play. And why I tear a Grass. This actually does, that doesn't do anything, that's great. I actually outspeed the Flutter Man. For some reason, I don't know how. I actually, I almost kill him. I don't know how he lived, he lived on like a one health. Invisible Focus Sash. I think what I do here is I protect. I think that's my play. Get some X stalled, another turn of Trick Room and get some leftovers back. He might have Sword Stance too. If he has Sword Stance and he sets up, then he might actually be able to kill me. He doesn't have Close Combat either. I don't know if a Drain Punch will actually kill me. John Dolls are though putting in the work so far. Putting in the work. See if I can get it see if I can live. Let's see if I I know I outspeed the Flutter Man on her trick room for some reason. So I should be able to kill her. I don't know why he protected there. That was really dumb of him, because now he's now he loses a mon for free pretty much. He could have had a chance to kill me with a drain punch there, that might have killed me. This thing's under Trick Room as well, so I don't know if it'll actually outspeed me. It's It actually probably will kill me here. I don't know if under Trick Room it'll actually, out, it'll actually outspeed me, though. I'm not sure. How much Trick Room do I actually have left? There is none. Trick Room's done. Okay. Well, I'm just Earthquaking then. Let's see if the, the Chiyu actually outspeeds. It does. I'm dead. I'm gone. I don't know how it outspeeds. I'm at plus two speed and I'm max speed. I don't know how it outspeeds me. Now nah, I'm getting taken out. This is really bad. Cause now he's getting a bunch of health back. I don't I don't know if I can actually kill him from that range with with a dazzling gleam now. I'm going to keep the Iron Moth in the back, because it's decent versus the Chiyu. And I'm a, I'm a Soul Vested too, so... He's probably going to protect here, if I were to guess. But I, I still have to Dazzling Gleam anyways. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam and probably Muddy Water. He actually is not going to. I get a kill on the Iron Hands. I'm surprised I killed. I'm really surprised. Heat wave, how much does do? Does over half. Not bad though. That could have went way worse than it did. If the Iron Hands would have lived there, there was a chance I could have lost. So that was a really close game. Not bad though. I'll take a dub. Really solid game. Currently, right now, too, I'm in uh, Great Ball. 
upgrade ball tier 8, I think is what I mean. I'm almost tier 9, so that's kind of put it in perspective. That's kind of where I am, at least when I'm recording this. I don't know when I'll end for this season, but at least that's where I am right now. But I'll let you guys know when we get to our next match. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back with another game, y'all. My opponent has a really scary team. Iron, uh, what is that? Iron... I forgot what that one is. Iron, not Iron Valiant, whatever that is. High Dragon, Iron High Dragon. Volcarona, Lycanroc, Dusk, Grey Tusk, and uh, Dragapult and Gastrodon. I mean, the good thing here is he doesn't really have anything for Don Dozo Tatsugiri, so I think that's what I lead with and just try to kill as much things as possible. I think that's my play. Dozo Tatsugiri. I mean, I'm kind of scared of because he has a lot of. He has a ghost that's pretty good versus me, and then he has the uh, the Lycan Rock, which I think he will bring. It's really good versus my team. It hit a Stellar Rock hits like three things on my team for super effective. So I think I bring the uh, Flutter Man. I, I might just bring Chimpao as like a, a backup because it ain't too bad versus him. I think I just bring Chimpao by itself this game. Because the Dark Eye is typing for a Zim isn't too bad. He actually leads with this. If he has Giga Drain, that's a bit of a problem, but... Or if he Terra's, if he's Terra Grass, then we're that's probably the worst case scenario. I think what I do here is I just have to go. I have to kill the the Volcaro and I can't let it set up. I don't really give a shit about the uh, the Iron Jugulus. Let me guess, Gastrodon's coming in. Here comes the Gastrodon. Yeah, there it is. There's the free plus one. I knew I should have. I maybe I should have predicted that. I don't know. I didn't think he was gonna bring Gastro versus me. Hurricane misses. That's great. I think what I do is just order up. I think that's when I start just trying to start building some, trying to start building attack up. Get rid of this thing. That's almost that's a crit. That almost is a wanted KO. See how much Hurricane does. Wow, I get one-shotted. I get one-shotted by a crit. Wow. That has to be like the worst luck ever. It really does. I mean, I can go into Flutter Man here. I think that's my play. I can outspeed the Jugulus unless he's Scarfed. He's not Scarfed because I outsped him earlier, so... It's so the bad thing though is like he has Volcarona in the back, which I can't really do much to. And he can kind of just set up on me if it really wants to now. And my answer to Volcarona is gone. I get his Dragon Pulse here. Doesn't do really anything to the Gastrodon, which sucks. Doesn't do anything. He's gonna double yawn. What he's trying to do is he's trying to put everything to sleep so he can just set up and win the game. That's what he's trying to do. He wants to be able to just set up and win. I don't know, we wouldn't have this problem if the, if my Dondos never got created. We wouldn't be in this situation. I don't know, do I swap here? Do I I can't really swap into that. I gotta keep my sash intact, unfortunately. It's either I kill the, the Volcarona or I kill the Gastrodon here, and I think I have to go after the Gastrodon. I think that's my play. I just set a Shadow Ball the Gastrodon.
Great way to play the game, y'all. Spam, sleep, and then just click one button to win the game. Great way to play. Great way to build a team around that. And he actually has this, which is great for me. I think this thing's a... I think he's ground. He is ground type. So that's good for the Chimpao, but like I don't think it matters. I really don't. I think I'm dead here. I don't think, unless the Tatsugiri happens to wake up, which I don't think it does. I think he's just going to set up like plus three. I live. If I were him, I would set up again. I'd set up to plus two. It doesn't matter. I, he just double targets this out, this thing down. I live on one. How? How do I live on one? Oh, it doesn't matter. The one thing I needed to hit the most doesn't even matter. That does a solid amount of damage, though. It does over half. That's still pretty good. I need to wake up and I need to Dazzling Gleam here. I'm going to try to protect and buy myself time. Thing. Let's see if this actually kills me. It's about plus one. It doesn't though. Okay. I actually outspeed him too, which is really weird. I actually outspeed the Volcarona still at plus one, which is huge. I'm actually going to take that thing out right now. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball should kill this range. I think Icy Wind. If I somehow live, I don't think I do though. It shouldn't matter because I have Focus Sash Chim Pao in the back, which should be able to easily one shot the, the Great Tusk, so. Actually, never mind. He yeah, actually has Earthquake. I mean, there's a chance I can win, though. Like I said, I still have Sash, so. And it, he might have Fighting Move. I don't know if he, have, he has Fighting Move, but I think I just Terra Ghost, too, would be a huge play here. If he had, possibly has a fighting move. I think that's my play. Terra Ghost and then Ice Spinner. And try to get rid of him. He might actually live though because he has good defense. Could be a close game. A really close game. I know it wouldn't be this close of a match if I never got critted. But I think the Don Dozo probably would have killed like half of his team. At least took down two things before I would have left. I don't know what Terra is this. What is he gonna have now? What Terra fighting or Terra ground? Or if he's Terra fire, then that's even worse. Terra ice. Okay. Terra ice, great tusk. That's really weird. I mean, it gives him an immunity to this, though. Like that doesn't do anything. He has brick break. He doesn't touch me. I get another free turn. That's huge. That's huge. I get to throw chop now. I don't know if it'll kill him though. I think it be really close. It does. What a game. I don't know how we won. I don't think I should have won this match. I played really good, but I don't think I should have won. It wouldn't have been as close. Like I probably would have had a way easier match. Like I said, if the Don Dozen never got critted and like one tapped by a crit, I just wouldn't have been a close match at all. I think I would have killed like half of his team and then I probably would have won the game from there. Barely won though because of that. That was really unlucky. And then the sleep yawn spam was really annoying. Apart from that though, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, probably gonna be the last match of Regulation C. I don't know when you guys will be seeing this, but last match of Regulation C. So if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Really appreciate it and share the video. It really helps out the channel. I, I will have some uh, Regulation D. I'll be ranking up with some VGC Regulation D and a new split for the uh, singles for this next season as well here in a couple days. At least depending on what you guys are seeing this, it might also already be Regulation D. So apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm going to get out of here. Peace out, everybody.